Number 76, Integrated Concepts. To construct a non-mechanical water meter, a 0.5 Tesla magnetic field is placed across the supply water pipe to a home and the hall voltage is recorded. Letter A, find the flow rate in liters per second through a three centimeter diameter pipe if the hall voltage is 60 uh, millivolts. Check out number 22 also. Um, I did a little discussion about hall voltage. So I'm gonna assume that you have watched that video from here. So uh, the hall voltage here, E, is gonna be equal to the magnetic field placed across a pipe multiplied by the length of the pipe multiplied by the velocity of the moving particle. Now we have to find the flow rate. So in other words, you gotta look all the way back to one of the, to the uh, fluid chapter, right? Somewhere around 11, 12, 13, 10, something like that. And we know that the flow rate here is gonna be equal to the cross-sectional area of the pipe multiplied by the velocity. So what we realize here is that the way the flow rate is connected to this formula is through the velocity, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solve this thing for the velocity. So that's simply the hall voltage divided then by the hall voltage divided then by the magnetic field times the length. And I'm going to take that and now substitute it on into this formula for the velocity, the hall voltage divided by the magnetic field multiplied by the length. So now we should have everything we kind of need. So the cross-sectional area, they told us the diameter, but you know that area, uh, this is a pipe, so it's circular. The area of a pipe is going to be pi r squared. So we got to take this first, convert it into meters, right, and then divide it by two. So the area here is going to be pi multiplied then by the 0 0.03 meters, right? Because that's centimeters converted to meters, but that's the diameter, divide that by two to get the radius and then square it, okay? Then take that and now multiply it by the hall voltage, uh, they said, so which is uh, 60 millivolts, but you know we need that in volts. So, you know, multiply that by 10 to the minus three, or it'd just be 0 0.060, and then divide that by the magnetic field strength of 0.5 Tesla, and now the length of the pipe here represents the, not the linear length. So if this is your pipe, and that's why you want to review, if this, is the, if this is the horizontal length, what they're talking about is the vertical length or the thickness of the pipe. In other words, they're talking about the diameter. <laughs> okay, so um, just keep that in mind. Please review number 22, so 0 0.03. And we could do some simplifications if we wanted, but I'm just going to throw it all into that calculator. So 0 0.03 divided by 2, that's going to be squared, then multiply that by pi. And then we're going to take that multiplied by 0 0.06, divided it by then parenthesis 0 0.5 times 0 0.03. All right, so here we get a value now of about 2.83 roughly times 10 to the minus uh, 3. Now this is the flow rates are going to be in cubic meters per second, you know, but we need that in liters now. Okay, so you have to do a conversion between cubic meters and liters, all right? So what we need to do here is I'm gonna move it on over to the side and let's go to milliliters first, or actually let's go to, uh, what am I talking about, centimeters, except uh, we gotta put that on the top, meters on the bottom, 100 centimeters for every single meter, but we got a cubit because we have cube units over here, so bye bye meters, now we got cubic centimeters. You know that a cubic centimeter then is equivalent to a milliliter. That's a one-to-one. -one. So see you guys later. And then we know that not an equal sign yet. And then we know that a thousand milliliters is in one liter. Okay. So we'll take that value, multiply by 100 squared, excuse me, cubed, not squared, but cubed. And then divide that then by 1000. So it comes out to be 2.8, good, 2.83 liters per second. So that's that answer for letter A. Okay, now let's take a look at letter B. So what would the whole voltage be for the same flow rate through a 10 centimeter diameter pipe? All right, so now basically what we have to do is we have to calculate the whole voltage this time, so E, all right? And what we now know is, uh, so yeah, basically all we gotta do for letter B Use this formula, whole voltage is equal to BL uh, multiplied by the velocity. So in order to calculate the whole voltage here, we need to know the magnetic field, which we do, which was 0.5, and the diameter basically of the tube, right? So that's gonna be 10 centimeters, but you know we need that in meters, so that's 0.1. 
then multiplied by the fluid velocity. Now they said that the flow rate is the same. So this is the flow rate, right? But how is flow rate related to velocity? Up oh, via this formula. In other words, that the uh, velocity of flow is equal to the flow rate divided by the cross-sectional area. So what I now need to do is plug in that flow rate, 2.83 times 10 to the minus three, and then divide it by the cross-sectional area now. So that's gonna be pi times the radius squared. If it's 10 centimeters in diameter, that means the radius is five centimeters and square that, okay? And let's see now what we get. So it's gonna be now 0.5 times 0.1 times 2.83. I'm gonna get that exact value one second as I scroll back into the history of the calculator, good. And then divide it now by parentheses pi times 0 0.05 squared, close those parentheses. And here we get a value of about 1.80 times 10 to the minus two volts. And that's the whole voltage. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe and I will see you soon. Take care.